Right. And as mentioned, the other false credit Margaret Thatcher gets is for killing socialism and burying it, as George Will said. What do you call a socialist who gets rid of bad socialism and keeps good socialism? Like I would. I call that person a good socialist, like Margaret Thatcher. A principle that adequate health care should be provided for all, regardless of ability to pay, must be the foundation of any arrangements for financing the health service. We stand by that. Ah, uh, there's Margaret Thatcher voicing her unyielding support for socialism in Britain's health care sector. Now, as I've said before on this program, there is good socialism and there is bad socialism, just, there is, just as there's good capitalism and bad capitalism. And what we should always be trying to do is use good socialism where necessary and good capitalism where necessary, which is all Margaret Thatcher tried to do. She saw that it would be better for British Airways to be run as a private company instead of run by the government. But she did not think health care should be left to the vicissitudes of capitalism. Or there wasn't a large enough role for socialism to play in housing, for example, in Britain. She was in favor of that. Nor did she seek to abolish the government-funded pension system for all, their form of social security, which, like ours, is a socialist program. She actually boasted